This next step here is I've got to take the oil pan off, shorten it about an inch and a half. Uh, I guess on these VW uh, swaps, these Subaru engines into a Volkswagen, the oil pan's pretty deep, so you got to cut it about an inch and a half off. So we're going to go through that process here. Uh, I, I kind of cleaned the pan up already with some parts cleaner, and we're going to be short, shortening the pan, and we've got to take about an inch and a half off the pickup tube here as well. So this will be lower by about an inch and a half. So let's get it. got a bubble here, and I'm right at about six inches. We're going to drop down four and a half. I'm going to just hold that with my finger. Let's see how this works. The windage tray is way up here. So we got all this room for oil. All right, let me get the grinder. Like when they cut the top of the skull off your uh, surgery. Chilled monkey brain. It looks flat, but I'm sure I'll be filling in some weld. Uh, let's get you down low here. Not too bad. I'll bring this in. It's got a triangle piece inside here. I'd like to cut that up. If you want to save a couple bucks and you don't have a weld-in drain plug on hand when you're doing this project, you can cut that drain plug out of the old pan and weld it into your, your new um, shortened oil pan. That's a center section right here. Well, I'm going to pound this flat, maybe cut it off a little bit, cut the corners, pound these corners down. And uh, I can use that, weld that right on. Now I want to flatten it a little bit. Still got a little bit of round from on the bottom of the pan. I just got to weld around this. The bus is a lot higher than a Volkswagen Beetle. So I might just go back on the bottom flat and deal with the plug sticking down that half inch. No big deal. I got the uh, drain plug cut out of the monkey skull here, the top of the Indiana Jones monkey skull. And I've made a little round section, so it's just nice and easy to weld around that. So we're done with this piece. Now we're gonna clean that up the uh, bottom of the pan. So we'll be ready to weld on there. have the pan over the plan is to have the pan overhang just an eighth inch so I I could put a fillet weld all the way around it okay we got to cut out this template here for the bottom of the oil pan and I've got the caliper here and measuring the wafer that I cut out of the, the drain plug here it's about 35 30 30 30 five thousand I've got a couple different pieces well, 35 thousandths, this one is 41, so that's a millimeter. 62, that's 16th, that's 16th inch plate. It's a pretty small area. I'm thinking the 16, uh, 16th of an inch. I think the 16th will work fine. We don't need to over, we're not building a skid plate. If you guys want to make yours quarter inch plate, 
Uh, that's great. But this is my daughter's on-road Volkswagen bus, so. All right, now we gotta whack that out of there. the scale off of this the welding I think it's okay if this hangs over a little more than than being short because we can weld in there real nice and then we can grind it back if we want it's time to weld I thought I'd bolt this down to the engine or at least set it on the engine they'll put the oil pan on and make sure the the um, oil pickup strainer is in the correct position from the the bottom of the pan you want about a 3 16 quarter inch gap here. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna adjust the height of the oil pickup tube for the cutoff pan here. So dropping the pan over, you know, I cut an inch, about an inch out of there. I actually cut too much. I'm gonna have two splices, unfortunately. So um, I've got it marked here and I've got one little, you know, three quarter inch section taped on right here and drop this over. There's three sixteenths to a quarter inch right there. Hopefully that's visible. And that's where I'm gonna weld the pipe back together, the oil pickup tube or the oil pickup pipe. We're gonna weld the pickup tube back together I'm going to tack it right between my fingers here. A little... Okay, there's the other tack. I'm going to leave part of the tape hooked up so I, I can just tack it right here. Okay. I suppose I can, I can trial fit that now. Where the engine's sitting here. I don't have an O-ring in it yet, so. Just want that. I'm kind of glad I didn't weld everything together yet. Line up the bolt holes. It's magnetic here, so I better be careful. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, I could measure that. 303, that's pretty close. It's flat, 300, I mean, that's, that's 5 16 guys. Might be a bit tight. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna weld it. There's gonna be a, a gallon of oil in here. It better be it better be picking up off the bottom with a three hundred thousandths gap. So we'll go weld that up. Plenty hot. Looks like a mass of brass first time i've braised guys in like 25 years all right we're at the point where i've got to attach the rest of the support bracket to the oil pickup screen just for support this would likely do it i think they're doing this for vibration so i've got a bolt hole line up down below we can put the bolt in there m6 bolt here i am not going to tighten it Good, but we're just gonna make sure the whole alignment is correct. And when I tighten it down, it'll pull. Just because I don't wanna be welding over the engine and, and uh, getting weld spatter, 
inside the engine. I'm going to overlap this about a it's about an eighth inch overlap, and I'm going to clamp it here so I can get my welder and attack it on this side. All right. All right. There's the assembly. It's all ready to go. We'll tack that on. The brass is giving me a good ground here. All right. Feel better? Okay. Being as it's overlapped, it gives me a nice, gives me a nice little shelf there to kind of cheat my welding. And now I'm gonna bring it over to the, the weld table. I've cleaned this up pretty good. And we're gonna weld the pan on now that I know what I have for clearance. And I'm bolt it down and set to go. It's got an overhang. I made it when I traced it out with a pen to give an overhang. So it, uh, I've got a shelf under here to weld for maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch. Now I get underneath and just give it a tack. That corner, holding down on it like this as I'm tacking. or two a little bit of oil i put a fan on here but i got shielding gas here and it would mess the welding up so good welder you become, you become a, a good grinder all right here we go just got her finished welded up here Few little spots I'm going to finish tacking and uh, filling holes. We'll get after with a grinder. I'm going to do a I'm going to do a, a, a liquid test to see if it leaks. Pour some water in here. Let's uh, let's work on this drain drain plug. Where is that? Okay. So I stole the old drain plug out of the the bottom of the pan i'm inclined to put it right here right in the middle here near the back of the engine so i don't have any trouble and hog this out now i gotta cut it to it i gotta cut it to this profile and and weld or braze i don't know maybe this time i'll tack and braze this in but um i gotta cut the triangle profile right here in the bottom all right Okay. Okay. Find a spot where it covers. Yep. I think I can make that work. I got a little bit, little bit showing of the, the hole right there. Cover that up. We'll braise that right in the bottom of the pan. Okay. This hole over here from this corner of the triangle. Let me put one on this side. That. Can you lay too much brass? Yeah. All right. Let's see what that looks like.
Here's a shot of the pan after I brazed it. I had a few pinholes. I figured I'd just run some braze around it. Cleaning it up for paint here. If I ever had to do this again, I would not braze it. I had about five or six pinholes here. I had first welded it, flipped it up like this, filled it full of water, found some leaks, decided to braze it, chased. <laughs> it's probably chased it for about an hour. I would come in here with some silicone. Um, maybe this stuff, the right stuff. This is amazing, Permatex. I would come in there and I would just, after I MIG welded, I just lay a bead right around the right around the perimeter of the welds and, and call it good. I wouldn't mess with trying to seal every little leak. Once again, Rust-Oleum engine enamel. This is good to 500 Fahrenheit. Pretty good stuff. Couple light coats. Now to get the pan on, the center hole right here is where the pickup is. I gotta kinda drop it on and then slide it forward. So you gotta drop it on here, slide it forward a little bit, then it drops back down. Man, is that stuff sticky. That is some sticky stuff. All right, so we'll bolt her down. Hey guys, so I'll do a real quick recap here on the oil pan. I've got it installed, bolted to the motor after I painted it. So I MIG welded it, as you saw, then I brazed it to kind of seal up all the holes. I probably wouldn't braze again. I would just continue to chase the holes with the, the MIG welder till I got it sealed. I'm not a professional welder, but it took me a while, a few different tries to fi finally get it sealed up. If I were to do it again, I would take silicone and I'd weld it all shut silicone the inner weld and call it good and next time i don't know if i'd use the subaru uh drain plug it worked it was a little extra work to cut it out you can buy these nice little drain plug uh off of uh amazon or ebay they're for like an o2 sensor bung it's 18 millimeter by 1.5 thread i think and the stock subaru is 20 millimeter um, it's a little smaller, but it's a nice little unit to weld in the, and you can weld it in the, the back or, or wherever you want. I put it on the bottom because the bus has plenty of ground clearance, um, and I wasn't worried about shearing off the plug. So that's another uh, kind of an option for you. You can buy these uh, aftermarket pans or cut down pans. You send in your oil pan, they cut it down. They're like 250, 280 bucks to have the service done where they cut the pan and the oil pickup tube down, down to size. Um, that's one option, or you buy a cast aluminum pan from a, a company online selling that for about 500 bucks. I opted to do this. I had the material laying around. It just took a couple hours of labor.